y'all it's me Lisa and welcome to my channel she Raven uh, on my channel I just talk about true crime horror the unexplained I also do mental health motivational short videos and just really anything I, I want to talk about <laughs> so if you're interested in any of that or you're interested in just hanging out with me just for a little bit whenever I do upload content please like and subscribe that helps me a lot this is going to be a really, really short video. Um, yesterday I did a video on my pen paling. I'm huge into pen paling. It's one of my hobbies. I like dolls. I like pen paling. I also uh, collect African American postcards, uh, the, the vintage or the antique ones. So the ones that are really racist, basically. <laughs> um, so I collect those kind of things. And, you know, I have other little... Uh, hobbies here and there, you know, just whatever. But I was opening some of my pen pal cards and I actually even yesterday night when I went to go get the mail, I had even more that I didn't get to open with you guys. Uh, but that video was long enough. It was about an hour. So it's all good. <laughs> but my one pen pal, do I have this the right way? No. One pen pal from Ireland. She sent me this. So my pen pal from Ireland, and I have pen pals all over the world. It's so much fun. It's a really awesome hobby. And yesterday I was explaining that if you're anxious or you're shy or even just lonely, maybe you'd want to get into pen paling. It's a great way to meet people from all over the world. You don't have that pressure of having to be a good friend, you know, having to go to dinner or brunch or drink, you know, any of those kind of things. And I mean, I'm probably the worst friend in the world because I never, I never go anywhere. I'm usually just really busy with the kids and other activities uh, that I have. So pen paling is a, is a way for me to be a great friend. <laughs> it's a way to be a great friend and to just meet people again from all over the world. And right now with the holiday season upon us, it's really big for a lot of pen pals. We go ahead and we send each other cards. Uh, sometimes we, we stuff those letters with little goodies. Like in this case, uh, Bernie sent me this Curly Whirly from Ireland. And sorry about my nails. I haven't gotten my nails redone. I'm not going to do it until after the new year because I'm not going to wait in those lines and, and pay those uh, inflated <laughs> prices just because it's the holiday season. So anyways, in this particular uh, envelope, Bernie sent me this curly whirly. This is not her first time sending me candy from overseas. A, a couple weeks ago, I think it was for Halloween, she sent me some little gummies and they were just, oh, delightful. I should have actually recorded. I shared one of them with um, another pal and I ate one and it was so delicious. But I'd never heard of this, curly whirly. So when I first saw it, I thought to myself, that looks almost like a Laffy Taffy, <laughs> which is a taffy type uh, candy here in the United States. So this one's from Ireland, or she is from Ireland, let me say it that way, because I'm sure you can probably get it all over, uh, you know, overseas. But she's from Ireland, so this one came all the way from Ireland, and it resembled a Laffy Taffy for me, but then when I opened it, it didn't. So this is it, it's more like a caramel, and it has a very thin layer of chocolate on it. Um, and <laughs> I couldn't help but to think as I was trying to break a piece off, as you can see, it's kind of yummy looking like uh, cheese. When you have a pizza and, and the cheese all comes off, I couldn't help but to think instead of calling this a curly whirly, they should call it a crumbly wumbly because, you know, the chocolate just kind of crumbles everywhere in um, the container. But I'm going to go ahead. And I've taken this piece and just so I don't look a hot mess trying to stick this in my mouth, I'm going to go ahead and taste it because I've actually never had this before. Mm. 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 Good. It's exactly like I thought. It's a caramel, and I just dropped it. <laughs> it's a caramel. Sweet. I did look at the sugar content before I ate it. 
not because I'm crazy and I don't like sugar because I love sugar but because um I one time sent another friend I don't know what I did with it I dropped it somewhere I one time sent another friend from Ireland some candy and he just made reference to wow it's so sweet and I was like so sweet and he was like yeah I heard American candy is so sweet and this is really really sweet so the sugar content hold on y'all there the sugar content doesn't seem to be outrageous to me it was 11 grams I do know that with some European candies and things of that nature they watch their ingredients and they watch the sugar they don't make things as as sugary so to me 11 grams seemed normal I don't know if it was made if, if it were an American candy <laughs> if it would have more or less I can taste a, a slight bit of um, salt, which actually favors it really well. Mm. Makes it really yummy. It's delicious. It's really delicious. Curly, whirly. But yeah, I just wanted to kind of try that with you guys. I'm still chewing the darn thing. <laughs> instead of <laughs> instead of curly whirly it can either be crumbly wumbly or sticky wicky because <laughs> it's just like sticking in my mouth but it's good it is really 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 good I will probably have to um, convince her to send me more of these I will definitely be like hey I'll send you something if you send me something and that's what's really cool about pen palling I don't have an envelope in front of me but when you when you send things you try to send something that can fit in the envelope now bernie um that's the pen pal's name sorry i said her name <laughs> but i didn't say her last name <laughs> but she sends really big envelopes to begin with but something like this could easily fit in, an, in a regular size envelope especially if it's a larger card or if it comes um smaller sometimes you know i know our candy sometimes comes smaller i have actually put in my envelope in the past I've put um, Sour Patch Kids uh, Swedish Fish I did put a Tootsie Roll once in the envelope and it was actually to her because she loves Tootsie Rolls but it didn't really make it the envelope got lost you know the letter got lost and it took forever to get there and then by the time it got there it was all smushed and I guess it smushed out of the package because you know the Tootsie Rolls they kind of roll them in it's not like this where it's actually sealed which Tootsie Roll should do this they should make a nice flat Tootsie Roll but I just put little tiny candies in mine also I sometimes will put in the envelope um, little packets of coffee the little single serving packets uh, not the cups, but obviously a packet similar to this that's a little bit thinner where you can just pour it in and pour some milk or some water. I will put uh, little packets of Kool-Aid. I've put uh, sticks of gum. I usually do the, the I don't want to say fancy because it's not really fancy, but the more exotic stick of gum, like the, the one with the, the zebra. It's like from when I was a kid. It's a zebra and the wrapper has a little tattoo on it I remember one time I actually sent it to, to this this pen pal right here Bernie and she thought it was to wash her hands because you know the wrapper said uh, place water on the wrapper so she thought it was one of those little soap packets but anyways pen paling is so fun and you you don't even have to send actual edible things you can send whatever whatever you want whatever you can fit inside that envelope um, it, it doesn't need, like I said, it doesn't have to be food. I've sent tea, I've sent hot cocoa, I've sent, you know, leaves, especially, you know, during the, the fall time or the spring when the beautiful oak leaves are falling and, you know, pressed flowers, anything. And it's a really great way for you to meet people, to become friendly, to become social without all that attachment that is expected from being a good friend. Because I have a lot of pen pals. I have some long-term pen pals. I have some that are just for different seasons, like, you know, maybe some that only do Christmas and then you don't hear from them for another year, stuff like that. But 
you don't have to feel uh, obligated, obligated, obligated. <laughs> you don't have to feel obligated uh, to that to that long-term hardcore friendship and it's just a way to sort of you know get out there and stick your little pinky toe in the water and, and just meeting with people and socializing with them and just working on your own socialization skills so thanks for joining me for tasting my curly whirly curly whirly 98 calories that's not so bad mm -hmm. yeah it's really good I'm, I'm happy that she sent that to me. And thanks again. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.